Hey everyone! Okay, I am back. I was going to come back at the beginning of the week because I finished this one a little early, but I... Oh, hold on. Husband's working. Uh, this is the collection we are going to use. Rise and Shine by Amy Tangerine. So that's what we'll be using today. Well, okay. And so, but then I was like, well, you know, my, um, Tim was off for a few days and he was on like a four day off one. Um, and he ended up getting it all the way off because there was no overtime or he, he was it was in his turn basically and so um he was home and we were just cruising it sorry he, he's at work and the pagers in the garage which is closest to my office um so anyways if you hear that besides the snoring because bus is right here <laughs> he's 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 been in here and he is snoring up a storm so okay this is this is this week i hope you guys like it so anyways uh he um so he's working and then he ended up getting, today was his first day back at work and of course he got overtime. <laughs> so he is gone for 72 hours. So because today's his normal shift, he works every other day. And so it would be Friday and then um, Sunday. Well, he got overtime for tomorrow, so he won't be home till Monday. <laughs> hairball so um so that means <laughs> that i will be filming and no more football darn it <laughs> i will be filming um the uh what do you call it um week five because i'm almost done with it i will be filming that on sunday so i'll be back on sunday so yay so since he won't be home might as well keep myself occupied and out of trouble right out of out of bad parts of town <laughs> and uh and project life there we go so i am excited because i really really like this collection um that i'm doing on week five i'm just like oh, i'm loving it i love this one too so hey i just you know what i just love pl and you guys know that so this was the week i took pictures and i finally it was it's been a year since we've had this and i figured you know what can you guys see everything okay I think so. Are you guys in frame? I hope so. And um, so this is the first time that I have actually, um, what do you call it, taken pictures of what Tim made of the chicken coop. So, sorry guys, I'm, I'm, I forgot how I wanted this and I, I um, didn't put it up on my screen. So I got to see in order for me to get this done right. So, um, so yeah, so I didn't... Um, let me see. Hold on one sec. Uh, I haven't shown it before, but this is what Tim made me was the, ch the chicken coop. And so I, um, can you guys see that? Okay. He, um, I finally, I finally showed everyone on Facebook and now I can, I can get to, um, business with it. And he was worried when I told him I wanted chickens, he was worried that I would, because he grew up with chickens, you know, his parents always had chickens and he was worried to come, that I would go outside one day and they would be dead. That was like my worst fear and that was his worst fear for me. So, because he knows I'm invested and I don't want to see any animal die. And you know, to know that you also raise these darn chicks and, for them to get killed is just so unbelievably sad and you know it upsets me just even thinking about it and so he knew that he didn't want that for me and so he is uh he busted his butt to make it and it's a shed and so he knew that if it didn't if if he didn't uh if i end up having to get rid of the chickens because you know the neighbors and stuff like that because we're not really allowed to have them if the neighbors complained or anything else that he would turn it into um not a she shed but a man shed <laughs> so he was okay with it so he built it to last because he figured well if if uh if something happens i can use i can use this shed and so that was cool so he did I love that. Isn't that cute? It's it's cat. Oh my gosh. So, uh, so it's a full blown shed. I mean, I'm like so stunned with this guy on how he can, I'm all over the place right now. Sorry guys. So you're just going to have to understand it's my normal like discombobulation moment because 
Whew, I'll tell you what, it's been, Tim and I had plans for tomorrow and, and then they kind of, they got, you know, they got canceled. And so then, uh, I ended up having to, uh, to do some stuff around the house and I, I, I'm, I'm, I'm like, oh my God. And then I have planner con planner con is in, um, Berlin game in San Francisco area on March 3rd and 4th. Why well, they showed the, um, who's going, who the vendors are and stuff. And I'm like, okay, I need money. So then I, so I have to do eBay. So I have to sell some stuff on eBay and I'm like, oh my God, I'm all this stuff I have to do. And I, and then I have my way in tomorrow. So I am like, I'm not all that together. <laughs> so like that's a shock, right? And so <laughs> but anyway, so back to the chicken coop. So I finally showed pictures and um it was pretty cool because he did such a great job. He ended up hurting himself, you know, a lot with this um um with this whole um because he it's all enclosed. So here is the shed open and it stays open during the day it stays open during the day and then uh at night we close it and it's locked it's an actual lock on it and uh the only thing that can get in there are mice and chickens eat mice so uh you know it, it it's i i want to say it's almost like what's that um Russian roulette, Russian roulette is it roulette i think it's called roulette right and uh we're with the with the um with the uh, uh, mice, it's like, okay, they will eat you if they catch you. So I guess they like living dangerously. So <laughs> they just, they, they go in there. So that's the only thing that has room for it. And we don't have like venomous snakes here um, where we live. So that's okay too. So if there's a snake that gets in there, I believe chickens will kill it too. So, and then, um, so this is their, I think their area is like 800 square feet, I think. Or is it maybe like four? five so yeah something like that so it's um it's one of those uh one of those kind of things um where it's i think yeah it's it's all their space i knew with having i have uh 14 no at this point i have 13 chickens left so um two died like within get with while getting them, you know, like when they were still like two days old or something. And then, um, one I had to get rid of and Maleficent, my Easter egg or died, um, last month. So she, um, she was killed. Um, it was cold here and I think they, they, um, basically sat on her. So she suffocated to death. I'm like, Oh, I'm protecting you guys from wildlife, but I guess I'm not protecting you well enough from, actual each other so i'm like oh my goodness so that really sucked but you know it's just oh, that sucked because you know here you open the door and then there's a dead chicken so you're like oh gosh dang it you guys so that was that was a total bummer deal <laughs> so He's, you hear cat too cat is like going to town she's hurt she ended up hurting herself while having a play date with her friend and so uh she her back leg or her hip is is aching so i think it's just a pulled muscle oh, she's done it before I mean, hasn't she done before <laughs> at least once right okay so this is their nesting box their nesting box is on the other side in the same enclosure but on the other side and they have um tim he did um lowe's lowe's has those buckets you know the five gallon buckets or whatever they're called and he cut them and he cut the tops off basically he cut them in half and they sit in there and they love it they don't they have six buckets and they fight over the top three they don't care no one's no one goes in the bottom three no they go on the top three and they fight and they cackle all day long because they're like hurry up i need to go i need to lay my egg and so yeah it's like that all day and so oh my god they fight over buckets so it's too funny so we could add more buckets, but no, they, this is their favorite bucket. So, you know, with my sense of humor, I think you guys are too close. Let me just back up just a tad right there. So with my sense of humor, I thought this was funny. So here's, you won't be able to see in the pictures, but there's one here and one right here. 
and it says because they're even dark in front of me too because it's it's a dark it, their nesting box is is uh, dark um, so they can have privacy <laughs> so it says whistle while you work domestic diva get it done today's meal plan <laughs> so and I use the simple stories uh, uh, collection for that one <laughs> so it was just you know it's just fun well then we had a screen door but when Tim built our lanai we didn't need the screen door anymore so he says well I'll just put it in the uh, in the I'll make a track for it in the shed and so they actually there's the screen door it used to be really nice screen door and then they decided they're bored and when they're in there at night and they ate <laughs> they ate the screen so I'm like okay guys so they ate the screen and so it's like just hanging there but it actually works out for me because in Cordell because Cordell puts them away I let them out and because uh, you know the kids got to do something right and so um, I make them make them work <laughs> so he gathers eggs and he puts them away and so this in case one is a stray you know like doesn't want to go in you can shut the door instead of you can shut the screen that would who's ever in stays in instead of you know having them go in and out in and out because you're like trying to wrangle them all in and um, so yeah so that screen door is a lifesaver it really is and it was just extra so it ended up working out perfect this ended up moving so I put on here because they're watching they're watching um us are uh, watching Cordell Roundup one more and it's this farm life staycation staycation 101 you know, you make your stuff work however you want it to work, and that is how I chose to do my my wording. <laughs> so, what do you guys think so far? I'm loving it. I love it. It's fun. So, and I especially love that. And I got them that bale of hay, you know, from the last the last video that I showed that said, hey, you know, they're <laughs> I got the bale of hay in my car. Well, you just give them a whole bale of hay. You don't take it apart. You let them scratch it. You let them, you know, do their whole scratching because they love that and then they love pecking at it. It basically, it helps with boredom. And so, uh, so they, they've been working on it diligently. It's still in a, in a solid piece, but it's, it's way, uh, way less. So, but they, you know, they make a mess, but it's a chicken coop and they're chickens. Who cares? So it's fine. And then I decided, because everybody was doing this on, i um, following the crowd. <laughs> everybody, uh, was doing at the end of the month they were downloading a calendar and then they put their weight loss on the calendar instead of doing it like every week which I was doing um, or I did it once I think they did it this way and I thought oh that's so much smarter to take your month and do it um, and add how much you've lost for the month instead of weekly and I thought that was so cool so I did that so um, yeah it was it was really cool so I've lost 6.2 pounds in January and that, it, you know, that makes a world of difference for your body. It really does. You wouldn't think so. Like it's only six pounds, but no, it does. It, it really does work. So, and then I use the freckle fawn little, I can do this. And this one says, this is finally happening. And I just, it's acetate, um, sticker. So all I did was back it behind white paper. And it says, when you feel like quitting, remember why you started. And my friend Gloria sent me, um, sent me, um, a few weight loss stamps, um, a couple of years ago now. And I use them quite often <laughs> so I love them and I can't thank her enough for them but I, I use them now and because uh, now they're even more fitting you know what I mean so it's pretty cool pretty cool <laughs> so and then Christine Feehan you know she's my favorite ultimate author like she's oh, she's amazing well remember how she had that you know midlife crisis I call it where her books were you know eh. well she's back <laughs> she's back and these books are so fun oh my god I devoured it within 24 hours could not get enough of it it was amazing so can't recommend that enough so and this was the week Tim and I because you know he has a stressful job and so when he's home he likes to um, just relax and 
uh, especially if we don't have things to do around the house, you know, uh, stuff like that. Well, we watch Deadpool because we always watch Deadpool. <laughs> it's at least a weekly thing. But this time uh, we have a projection TV because we have one wall that is just pure wall. And so we can have that projection TV, but we only use it when we watch Disney or Marvel movies. And um, he ended up getting a new stereo system for it. And uh, he was he wanted to test it out and stuff. So we spent all day. I think it was last Saturday, and we just watched nothing but Disney and Marvel, and you know Deadpool's part of that. And so it was uh, it was really cool. And this was Tim's book. He didn't really care for the author. It wasn't his. It was too. It wasn't. It wasn't his type of book. So he decided, eh, just one time is good. So, and that's cool. I mean, that's how you figure out who, what you like and what genre and all that stuff you like, right? It's just by sampling. And uh, so he did, and that was pretty cool. So he now he knows he doesn't really, he doesn't really care for it. <laughs> you guys, his bus is just, oh, he's too funny. So anyway, so I just had it, you know, it was our date. And it was just so neat because, you know, we just put the movies on and, we just watch TV and it's really cool and it's just some downtime and uh, he needs it. That guy's under so much stress so he is seriously counting down his years to retirement. He has nine years and ten months or is it nine months? Uh, nine. Yeah, nine months and he can't like, it's like, okay. <laughs> but this is his 20th year so that's why. Okay. So let me tell you about this picture while I'm going. This picture is Tim. This is my husband right here. And guess what he is doing? He is dyeing my hair. He has been dyeing my hair for about a year. And it started off because my hair is long and I was tired of paying $100 so $200 a year in dyeing my hair and it would always fade out within six weeks, four to six weeks. So it, you know, it's just one of those things where it's like, oh my gosh, just, uh. so I asked him one day because honestly, you guys, when your kids are older and they're grown and you know, it's just you and your husband or your significant other. It's all you have. You have each other and that's, you know, that's it. And so you rely on each other and you do things for each other and, and you know, it's all you have. You know, I don't have like girlfriends, you know, I don't go, let's go do our each, other, each other's hair, nothing like that. So I don't, it's just me and him, you know, we're both introverts and we rely on each other and we can count on each other and so uh, I asked him one time hey will you do my hair for me and he's like I don't don't know what I'm doing but yeah if you want me to and I was like yeah I was like we'll learn together we'll we'll just wing it and he's like yeah no problem and so I mean doesn't even hesitate doesn't feel like his manly parts are like you know are, are going to be affected you know doesn't feel like he's less of a man because he's doing my hair or nothing like that and so he let me take a picture um, this night and I thought it was so cool and he's like because he's like no don't take my picture because you know we hate our pictures taken anyways but I was like you know what I just you know what I am so I'm a lucky girl he's a lucky guy too I'm a prize <laughs> right and so <laughs> and uh, and so I said you know what let's uh, I want to I just you know what I am so like amazed by you I am so just stunned on how awesome you are and that's so you know I mean you married this person so they better be darn awesome you know so I mean gosh if you can't count on your significant other then you know what that's pretty sad and that that's really sad and that's that should never happen to anybody and you know in fact on my Facebook when I post that picture one of the friends was like oh you know one of the guy friends is like his co-worker is like oh you, you, you have your man card taken away and it's like it, my point to him was you have daughters wouldn't you want your daughter i mean think about yourself also with the the ladies who have that have um or men who watch if you guys watch too if you have a girl wouldn't you want your your daughter's partner to treat her 
like a queen? What, isn't that what you want? I mean, as a parent, I want the world for my kids. And I, you know, I would love someone to be like Tim to treat my kids like this. And I would love for my son to treat a woman like this, you know, or his significant other. I would uh, love it, you know, because he was raised right. I don't, you know, just in respect each other because there's things I would do for Tim too. So, you know, you give and take, you give and take. And I just, I think that's just amazing. And you know what? I'm proud to have him as my husband. And I know he's proud to have me as his wife. And so, you know, with, but that, um, so that meant a lot to me. And, uh, so him doing my hair, he's been doing it for quite a while. Oh, uh oh, I went off. I don't know where, where I stopped. I didn't look up. So I love the title card. It matches. I just thought it's a love day because my husband's doing my hair and, um, we we're watching movies together and the, the chicken coop that he did for me is just really cool. So I was like, you know what? It's a, it's a, uh, it's a love week. <laughs> so I love this week. It's awesome. So I thought it was a fitting title card and I, and I, I do, I do love it. So let me put this down that way. I can say thank you since I went on, you know, the whole blah, 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 blah again, but you guys are used to this, right? <laughs> so since Tim's working, um, the 72, I will be back. And I have, uh, I believe, Freckled Fawn is coming in today, so I'll have that one to, uh, to film. And um, let me see, let me say thank you to Kai's mom, Dee and Annabelle, hello. Um, isn't it a dangerous sport? Reading is becoming, she's, it's, yeah, it's crazy. <laughs> so, who knew? Wrist problems. And then, um, Jenny Aldrich. Hi, I didn't know you were still with me. So that's cool. Hi, Jenny. Um, I hope you're doing okay. And then uh, Cind Ernie, of course. Thank you. And uh, let's see, we have Natalie Gavin. You're going to go to Universal with three kids. I bet they're going to love that. And what great pictures that, you know, that will be. So have a blast. And yeah, just that's awesome. Your kids will love it. Uh, let's see. Uh, uh, scrapping posh yes I would love some stickers that would be great I would appreciate it because yeah I can put it on my mom's album also you know that it doesn't have to be like in the project life if they're too big they can actually go on the outside of the album or inside the album I don't I love doing that stuff too so that works out so anyways all right guys Oh, wait, what was I going to say? Guy, guys, I'm not sure what I was going to say. <laughs> that came out really weird. But anyways, so sorry for the hiccup when I started. And who knows when I got cut off by the stupid um, <laughs> camcorder or dumb, dumb camcorder. But um, I hope you guys like it. I absolutely love it. And um, I'm sure you, I'm sure week five will be awesome, too, So because this is fun. All right, guys, you have a great weekend, and I will see you on Sunday, so Vanna hands. All right, guys, take care. Big hugs, big loves. We'll see you. Bye.